Um, so first of all, I just want to say thank you so much to all the amazing support and comments that you guys have been sending me um, after at least releasing the first video where I talked about uh, the reasons why I didn't follow through with this project in the first place, which is because I was so scared of failing. So out of those comments, um, an old friend of mine reached out. Well, she was very um, supportive about what this project was all about, but also she wanted to do an episode with me on what she's been going through and what her challenges and fears have been. Uh, so I flew down to Wellington and managed to catch up with her. And um, this incredible friend, her name is Pip. <laughs> I need another cup of tea. <laughs> and this is her story. I think back to it now, I'm like, holy shit, I don't even know how I dealt with all that at the time. When it was happening, you know, you just act. It's the most beautiful place, Macro. If you haven't been there, you, ha you have to go. And it so speaks of Zach because he loved that kind of stuff. He was such a hunter-gatherer. Yeah. Ah. You don't ever expect something like this to happen. And so since, you know, day one of him passing away, like it was, I'd kind of gone back to work and everything is like it, it was all normal like nothing had changed but a massive thing had changed it's nice to know that um, he doesn't know what happened which was a big part for me going through that um, two day search and rescue out at Makara because in the end hearing that it was um, what they call a shallow water blackout it would have been like fainting, like he just had no idea. And for me that was um, quite comforting because if I knew that he was, knew what was going on, that's probably what would have, that was, would have been the hardest thing. And someone said to me actually that grief is like an injury. You can't do the same amount as like what you used to. That's been one of the biggest learnings out of this all is actually like slowing down <laughs> and giving some time time to myself. I can feel I, I know when I'm about to like burst. I can feel it like coming up. It's yeah. And even like the other day I just was walking in the supermarket and I was like, oh fuck, like not now. <laughs> it's really hard, like. And that has been a big part of it for me because I didn't want to um, ignore what has happened um, with Zach passing and I wanted to be true to like what I'm feeling and things like that and actually just taking some time out and stopping for an hour a day has allowed me to um, totally just see how I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm just so thankful for Zach and you know like I have been so lucky to even have had him in my life um, for those five years and we always told each other we loved each other that's probably my advice to you know if you love someone tell them you love them because and hug them we never hug enough <laughs> yeah. I think for, you know people that knew Zach knew how happy he was so so that's her story. Um, to finish off this video, I just want to say, Pope, thank you so much for being so courageous and brave and um, being so honest and open about what you've been going through. Um, and I cannot imagine what that's been like, but the fact that you're willing to share your story um, with all of us um, on this platform, um, it really, really is a true testament of your character so thank you very much for doing that and yeah I hope that this video as well will move and touch uh, whoever watches it and um, in whatever way that is uh, see you guys in the next one so thank you so much so yeah